Hey guys, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. I'm with Snoop right now, and we're going to talk about guinea pig ages. How can you tell how old your guinea pig is if you're not sure? If you don't know when they were born, or if you found them maybe at an animal shelter and they don't know. Uh, this video will give you some tips on uh, and some ways on how to figure out how old your guinea pig is. Okay, now the first obvious way would be uh, their size. Now is a guinea pig full grown? This is Snoop right here. He is a full grown American short haired guinea pig. And this right back here is Pipsqueak. Now Pipsqueak is not quite full grown, um, but close. <laughs> here Pippi, have some carrot. And Gary is pretty full grown. Now, uh, guinea pig breeds vary a little bit. Um, their sizes can vary. Uh, some guinea pigs can grow bigger, and some between, even between the, the breeds, uh, guinea pigs uh, vary. So some Abyssinians might be bigger than others. Um, it's, but basically, uh, when your guinea pig is a, a full grown, they're about this big, about super burrito size. Okay, if they're not quite this big, then um, they're probably under a year. So a guinea pig is full grown at about a year. So if they are full grown, then um, what are some other signs to look for to see if uh, your, your guinea pig, how old they are? Uh, at the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue, where I'm a volunteer, we usually look at the nails, uh, the thickness of the nails. So let's look, let's look at Snoop's nails real quick. Come here, Snoop. So Snoop's uh, a couple years old, and he has some decent thick nails. The back nails are probably a, a better indicator. He's about two years old. Uh, he could, he's due for a, a nail trim. We recommend every eight weeks is about right for a nail trim. So you can see they're thick. They're not too thick. They're not um, grizzly, but they are not thin, sharp nails. So now let's look at Nate's nails. He's under a year old. So now here's Nate. Now he also has dark nails, but look at those sharp little points. Okay. he's. So he's almost a year old, but um, let's look at his front paws. He's almost a year old, but you can see he still has these kind of delicate little claws that come to a point. So here's his back paws. They are a little bit sharper. Oh, I'm trying to focus. That didn't help. <laughs> a little bit sharper, a little bit thinner. Let's look at little nails' as nails. Let's look at his front nails first. What do you smell? Okay. So, he's got like these tiny little things. They're hardly anything to, to clip if you wanted to, but they are sharp, and that's the, that's the predicament. Baby's nails tend to be sharp. Okay. So, they're little and they're sharp. Look at his belly. Look at his big belly. It's okay, bud. So let me look at these other ones. Let me look at these. Oh. They're little. Not the best footage here. This is not the best side of the camera to use. There we go. You can see the sharpness. They're little. They're little, little claws still. Little claws and little paws. No, don't scratch. Don't be itchy. No, what are you sniffing? What do you smell? You smell Nate's butt? You smell Nate's butt? 
<laughs> now here's the big man. Here's Big Billy himself. Okay. Yeah, he could totally go for a, uh, a nail clip. You're up for a nail clip, Billy. Yeah, yeah. Let me see your let me see your back paws. Looks a little red, but that's really his markings. Hold on. Come here. Trying to get your big claws in focus. Alright. It seems like this side is actually they're thicker. And they're kind of curved around. You need a nail clip buddy pretty badly. Um, yes, we do. <laughs> you need a nail clip. It's not funny. Big old claws. So he's about three. The older you get, maybe you're four. The older they get, the thicker their claws get, pretty much. I know just Billy. You stinker. You stinker, you smell everyone. He smells everyone. You sniffer. Alright, come on. So so their size, their nail thickness, um, but what are some other things? Um, generally, older boys and older girls will have, their hips are a little thin, like they lose kind of the muscle density in their hips. So um, we, whenever we're doing a health check, we're feeling, uh, what we're feeling for lumps, we're feeling for any bites and scratches, and as we kind of go over them, we feel their back and feel their hips. Um, and uh, if their hips are bony, and they also have big thick nails, um, and there's a certain look about um, piggies that just are older. So um, that's another thing to look at is the density of their muscle mass around their hips and in general the boniness of their hips and their back. Um, what else? Um, behind guinea pig's ears there tends to be a little bald area. Um, and when they're babies, there's a little baby fuzz there, but as they get older, that area behind there starts to become more defined. And a lot of people say, oh, my, for some reason my guinea pig's bald right behind there. That's just natural, that's just um, the way they are. Uh, but as they age, it sort of recedes a little bit, becomes more defined, and the skin, the baby fuzz that is growing there goes away and reveals soft, cute little uh, guinea pig skin and that's a great place to give them kisses right back there uh, so what else um, you could look at their eyes guinea pigs eyes should always be clear and bright and sparkling no matter what their age but sometimes older guinea pigs can get cataracts they can their eyes can haze over sometimes it's from a scratch of hay gets in the eye or or from a fight or sometimes they're scratching themselves because they're itchy and um, their nail scratches their eye. So a bunch of these things can happen. Generally, if a scratch in, in the eye is treated with uh, antibiotic drops or ointment, they usually make a full recovery. Um, but cataracts is something that happens, it's natural, and uh, it's part of the aging process for some of these piggies. Um, so we do see older pigs that have eye troubles, some older pigs go blind, but in general, um, we want to be looking at healthy pigs and signs of healthy signs of aging, um, because some guinea pigs can develop blindness and cataract at any age, and that's not necessarily a sign of aging. Just like teeth, well, what about teeth? Guinea pigs over time can develop tooth issues, but they can also develop tooth issues when they're young. So uh, having tooth issues is more a sign of health than it is age. So, and it's very serious. Uh, teeth that are overgrown or uh, growing crooked or um, unevenly or growing in, those are all really bad things uh, that can prevent guinea pigs from eating. Guinea pigs have high metabolisms. They need to be eating all the time and if they stop eating even for a day it can be life-threatening. Um, 
That's why it's really great and important to have critical care, which is an emergency food, along with uh, your emergency supplies. So go to my website, and I have uh, a video by Skinny Pigs One, which lists um, some things that you can keep in your emergency kit. So. That's just a couple ways that you can tell if uh, how old your guinea pig is if you don't know how old they are. If you just found them and you want to do a pretty good assessment as to their age. So I hope you found this video informative, if not long and rambling. But uh, <laughs> I appreciate um, the feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button. Hey Pipsqueak. This is the part where you're cute and they click on videos. Mike, who spilled that bowl? Mike, who spilled that bowl?